Hello and welcome to another edition of Zog Science. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Bohr model. Um, the Bohr model was put forward by Niels Bohr uh, in the early 1900s. Um, and basically what it states is that it's, it talks about how electrons are going to be orbiting um, around the nucleus. So here we have our nucleus right here. And these electrons are going to be orbiting around the nucleus. Um, and specifically they're going to be orbiting in different shells. Um, now right here we've got nitrogen. Right? And nitrogen um, has an atomic number of seven. Um, so that means that it's going to have seven protons. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we've got all of those. Um, and what the model tells us is that in the first energy level, we can have two. So we can have two electrons. And then in the second level, we can have eight electrons, right? So, and then uh, the subsequent levels, um, we can have a third level. Um, now, nitrogen doesn't have enough, uh, doesn't have quite enough, oops, excuse me, doesn't have quite enough electrons to fill this uh, this level. But if there was another level, um, we could show that here. And that third level um, would consist of eighteen. Oh, that was not the right thing. Eighteen mm -hmm. electrons. Okay. Um, so what you do is that you always want to fill in the inner the uh, these energy levels first, and the reason why is because those electrons have the least amount of energy, um, and we always want to be in the least energy state. We call that the ground state. So we've got our two electrons filling up the first energy shell, and then we've got our next five electrons giving us a total of seven uh, in that second energy shell. So let's sort of look at um, a couple of different examples um, of how we're going to write these out. So we've got sodium. Right, its atomic number is 11, which means that it's going to have 11 protons. So we write that there. And then neutrons, what we're going to do is we're going to round this number off to give us one of the isotopes for sodium. So we're just going to round it to 23, and that's going to give us a total of 12 neutrons. Okay, And then we're going to put some little x's to represent our electrons. So remember, we've got an uh, atomic number of 11, which means we're going to have 11 electrons. So we've got 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that gives me two in the first energy level, eight in the second, and then we've got one left over because that's a total of ten. Put that one out here in the third energy level. Okay. Let's look at one more example with silicon. All right, silicon has an atomic number of 14, so that gives me 14 protons. We're going to round this off again to 28, so that's also 14 neutrons. All right, and that means I've got 14 electrons. All right, so I'm going to put those in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so there's 10 electrons. I've still got four left over, so I'll just add them in here. 1, 2, and that's the Bohr model of the electron. Um, that's uh, not the most current model, but that's what we're going to be studying in physical science. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.